Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jessica Charms. Yeah, I know, looking charming as always, as my bra wants to be a pain in my butt today, because it's the bra that I really don't like. I gotta do a video with these, but because I wear forms and God knows YouTube. Look, in all honesty, I mean, YouTube wants to um, age stick my shit, be my guest, because I'm never gonna deny, my stuff is not designed for kids. It is not for kids. It's not porn, but it's sure as hell ain't designed for kids. Speaking of what's not for kids, let's say the perfect segue. I am starting Pokemon Sapphire. And I know some of the others are going to go, but Jessica, when are you ever going to get off your um, fat transgender ass and get on with Golden Sun? You promised us the Lost Age. Ah, I don't feel like playing it yet. <laughs> I don't feel like playing it yet. Sue me. So, I'm going to be playing Pokemon Sapphire. Now, fun story. This was the very first ever Pokemon game that I played. Ever. Hand to God. First one I ever played. I had seen other people playing other games. I There was a member, uh, one of our members' kids at the fire company. One of his kids had, I think it was yellow, before um, Sapphire came out. That was the first one I saw. I was screwing around with that with him for a little bit, but I did not own it. This was the first ever Pokemon game that I played that I own. So, I love this game. This has a very special and nostalgic place in my heart. Because it is so goddamn cool. I had a level 100 Blaziken. It was the only Pokemon that I had to do any of the battling. All EVs, all... Um, proteins, all of our candies went right into my Blaziken, and it became the strongest Pokemon I had. I literally beat the Elite Four with this Blaziken. I loved that Blaziken. I nicknamed it Tyler after one of my classmates. I loved that Pokemon. It was one of my favorites. I so wish I would have had another game to transfer it over to, because... I eventually decided, hey, I'm going to, um, let me adjust the microphone here. This thing's a little loud for you guys. I think it's just a little too loud, I think, maybe. I think I'm probably too loud, too, so. Yeah, I'm probably just too loud. I never know when to shut up. I have problems, and I never know when to shut up! That's my problem. But, um, I ended up restarting the game because I had killed... I'm oh, sorry, I fainted the legendary roaming, which was Latios, or no, Latias. I actually do have the Latias that I ended up catching. So one of the fun things that I really would like to do sometime is to pull off the save data from my Pokemon White version so I can have it on emulator so I can really have a solid copy to hold it for eternity, which is something that I'm looking into doing. And believe me, it is something that I put a little bit of time into, Every now and then, because if it's just like one little adapter that I have to buy that I can connect via USB, plug my goddamn uh, cartridge in, and then I can have access to it on my computer and just transfer the save file over, like literally copy and paste it, you bet in a goddamn heartbeat I'm going to. Because I want that, I, I want my save file in a digital form. Because... I have a lot of Pokemon on there that I got from a lot of people, and I love everything about that game. Pokemon White was the last game I ever played, and it is the only game I have. In fact, I still have the cartridge. I still have the DS cartridge. I actually do play it every now and then on my only working DS. Every now and then, not all the time. But today, we're going to start Pokemon Sapphire. And, because this is an idea that... I was tossed around on my Discord server because I said I was either going to play, because I was playing Need for Speed. But Need for Speed on the GameCube was running okay, as so long as I wasn't using Twitch Studio Beta to record it. The minute I started using Twitch, the frame rate went to pot. And so I wasn't going to upload any of it. So I basically just used that as my I need a Zen moment. Which I'm not actually happy much of. Um, I'm on energy drink number one of the night, and I have three more to go and a big-ass bag of chips. And I'm trying to lose weight, so this is basically to help offset this. 
Let me show you. This is to help offset this. So now you're up to speed. <laughs> now you're up to speed. Okay? Okay. So. Um. What was tossed around in my Discord server? I said I was either going to play Pokemon Sapphire or Pokemon, um, or Mega Man, or the Mega Man Zero Collection for the DS. Fun thing about the DS version of Mega Man Zero, um, if you play the collection, the first game, you have unlimited lives. Which is really cool. Because I kept dying all the time in the original Zero, and it sucked. But with Mega Man Zero 2, uh, you don't get that. And I was like, God damn it, I missed I missed the extra lives. But I play some Pokemon. So all the Pokemon I'm actually gonna be naming and nicknaming after my viewers and my friends. So all of them are gonna be getting Pokemon. So let's get into this, shall we? Oh, and by the way, um no audio because I'm not getting copyright struck. Or come, or have Game Freak uh, come after my ass. You want a piece of me? Bring it on. There's enough demons in my head. You're more than welcome to join the game. You're more than welcome to join. I guarantee you, though, it won't end pretty. So I actually did have a file for this. Um, but... It was for a series I was going to try to start on my other channel called The Adventures of Bob Bastard. I decided to nix that, but after toying around with Twitch Studio Beta a bit, I can put the GBA player over there on my other laptop, my main one that I showed in my one video. I can put my GBA player over there, and I can actually record that on there sometime. And do the adventures of Bob Bastard for my actual channel. Or I can just record it on this. So I have two files. I copy. See, this is one of the good things about emulators. You can make a copy of it. So I can have one that's dedicated for the adventures of Bob Bastard. And one that's dedicated for me. Because the adventures of Bob Bastard is going to be fun. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you're undertaking research, and I'm going to be taking over your job because you're too fat and lazy to do it yourself. Got it. Am I a boy or a girl? Let me, let me, let me check. Hold on a second, let me check. Mm. Yep, those look like breasts. No, well, granted, that feels like a sausage, but I'm still trans. Um, I'm kind of both, but there's no in-between, so I'm just going to go with girl. These are the default name. Oh my god, I forgot about that. What did they have for the boys? Oh yeah, it was like um, Seth, Terry, or sorry, she, uh, Sean or Sheen, Terry, Seth, Tom. Yeah, I'm a girl. Got Marina, Kimmy, Nicola, or Sarah. What did you just put your? What did you just say? And what's your name again? <laughs> Because that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. My name is Jessica. Look at that! It fits! I could have just been called Jess, too. Would have been fine. But I'm Jessica. Yes. Yeah, I'm moving to your hometown. I'm going to shrink down into a pixelated sprite. Whoa, what the hell is this crap? No. Was I seriously just shoved into a freaking bus? I was shoved into the back of a truck. Dragged against my will across. You've got to be smoking. You've got to be smoking some strong ass crack. Yeah, how come I didn't get to ride with you, you know, in the, oh, I don't know, the family uh, station wagon? Was this, like, an adventure or something? Were you trying to just, like, off my ass?
Yeah, no, Mom, I don't think. You seem to do all the thinking. I was doing all the talking for me. Yes, yeah, slave labor must be very nice in your world. Um, I'm assuming that these Machoke don't mind, um, you know, lifting heavy shit or... Oh, okay, they actually don't mind lifting heavy stuff because that's their entire thing. They like working out, but... You're being insensitive to these Pokemon, you bitch. Okay, look. I like how she goes, Dad bought you a new clock. Okay. You could have just said, your dad bought you a new clock. You're like, Dad, please tell me that that's not... Look, I, I don't care what you want to call it when you two are having your little private games inside, but... <laughs> Please do not make this weird, Mom. Okay, so really fun story about with this game. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, unless they did it in Crystal, which I think they probably did. Um, this was like the first, I think, to have dual gender um, protagonists, but I think it might have started in Crystal. I don't remember it being in Gold or Silver from what I've seen, but then again, I could be wrong. I never played those. I've only watched the gameplay of it. Um... It's actually a mere difference. The only difference with this is that if you start off as a boy, you're in the house next door, and vice versa. That's it. Which is actually really cool. Um, I love how it's a GameCube. Ironically, it is the color that I had the Indigo. Which is really cool. Oh, yeah, let me let me take my uh, free I uh, free potion out of this. Yeah, but you didn't know there was a potion in there right off the bat. And the only downside is that um, we can't go downstairs. So see, Mom's downstairs right now humping the Machokes, uh, making stuff for uh, uh, Pokehub. I guess. <laughs> Pokehub, I guess you could call it. Um, and once we set our clock, all of a sudden it's like, oh crap, my kid's done. All right, let's wrap it up, guys. And you can't back out of it, so. Let's see, it is 8. I'm going to put it at 8.30 for me. I love how this game always starts you in the morning. They don't think that anybody's ever going to actually, like, do shit at night. It's like, yeah, no, guys, I do have a life. All right, I'm just going to put it at 8.35. I'll make it a little fast. So, bite me. And now that I'm done doing that, now mom's done fucking the I mean, humping the machokes. She, she's done hugging them. Screw I'm not getting monetized. This shit, this shit will never be monetized. See, this is why I want to do the Adventures of Bob Bastard for my other channel. Because I could have some fun lines here. Yeah, this this is just gonna be a blast when I can start doing that. Let's see what she's got now. Yeah, Pedalbird Gym where where my dad is the new uh, leader, and I gotta kick his ass. I just officially want to say that I feel like this house, that there's no way my dad could afford this house. Um, none. But yeah, so if you play, um, if you start as a boy, this would be your house. You don't mind me, I just kicked your front door in, walked right in like I own the place. Yep, just, they literally just swap the dialogue. That is it, depending on which um, gender you decide to be at the start. Just, you didn't know I was a girl. Were the boobs not a big giveaway? 
were the boobs not a big giveaway? The fact that I have my hair long? The fact that I look uh, cute as hell? Did, were not, where, were the, uh, where were the lines that said, I didn't realize you were a girl? You jackass. I'm going to be regretting this night. I get the feeling I'm going to be regretting this night. <laughs> okay, I like that. You want me to go catch you one? It's like, oh, look at that. They're already flirting. I'm just going to eventually be your, uh... Oh, what the hell. Oh, look! He's being chased! What? It just wants to eat ya? Alright. So we have a choice between three Pokemon. Uh, we can go with Trico, Porchic, or Mudkip. Now, I always start off with the fire types. I don't know why, I always do. Of course, I'm going with Torchic. Oh, I got a female one! Oh, <laughs> that is so cool! Now you, I, you know, full disclosure, the chances of your starter being female in a Pokemon game are literally low. It's not a solid 50-50. You actually have a better chance of it being male than female. That is really impressive. Girl power! <laughs> I'm gonna have to come up with a good nickname now. I'm gonna use um, a. I know the perfect one. Because I'm naming all the Pokemon I catch. They're getting nicknamed after friends and viewers. I know just who to name Torchic after. Yay! I got a, I got discount chicken nuggets. By the way, no matter how much you say no, um, he forces you to go. So, and in case anybody's wondering, um, no, these are not the default um, settings. I did go in to speed up the text dialogue and to turn off battle animations. So that does make a difference. Downside is I have no Pokeballs. I only have a potion. I have no Pokeballs. So anything we battle right now is literally just going to be cannon fodder. I really don't need to see the battle animations. I, I honestly, I really don't. They are a massive pain in the ass. Okay, what are the odds of me only seeing female Pokemon? This is getting very weird. 
I mean, granted, in the wild, that's normal, but still. That's weird. Because, I, like I said, I'm so used to the first Pokemon being male, I was like, okay, I already have a good name for that one. But then it's like, oh yeah, no, it's your first Pokemon is going to be female. And I'm like, what? Does it come up with another name? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, though. I have a backup plan for... I have a backup plan to a backup plan to a backup plan. It was being named after my friends and viewers, so obviously... Yeah, obviously, there are some that are going to work. So I'm going to go with most of my friends because there are some that I am planning to catch before I actually go over to the first gym. So I got to go kick, um... There you go. Now there's finally a guy. Plus, the one thing I hate with this game is that all of the letters are in capital, and it bothers me. But this was the first Pokemon game I ever played myself, and I loved it. I was up to like 2 in the morning playing it. I got up to the 5th gym. No, I just beat Flannery. Never mind. 4th gym. I was, I was up to 10 I was up to the 5th gym. I just was like, it's 2 in the morning, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> yeah, this girl's gonna spank your ass, unfortunately. <laughs> and not in a good way. Yeah. Okay, so, whoa, we were speed tied. Seriously? I got KO'd on the first... The only downside with with female Pokemon is that they are a bit weaker. Thank you, sexist people at Game Freak. It's sad thing is it's true. Their stats are set to be a little lower. Um, special stats I think were set a little higher, but the physical stats were put lower, which really does suck. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I didn't even bother to check to see what our Pokemon's nature is. <clears throat> oh, it's brave! Oh, okay, that's, um, that, that, that's good, actually. So our special defense and special attacks high, our attacks good, so when we get our fire moves, we'll actually be really good. Speed's pathetic, but we can fix that later. IV training can fix that. Alright, you little ass wipe. Let's go for round two, butt munch. Spank me once, shame on you. Spank me twice, shame on me. Mm. 
the only reason you're kicking my ass is because I didn't bother to actually sit down and try to do more training before I came to you. Plus, that really piss poor um, critical role did not help. So for those that don't know, this game relies heavily on RNG, which is random number generation. And yeah, it's not fun. Mm -hmm. So one of the other good things is that and I found out, I think it was with this generation, but don't quote me on it, that your Pokemon will actually, your very first Pokemon, the starter Pokemon, okay, no matter what level you get it up to, it will not disobey you, because it just instantly likes you. It trusts you regardless. Because I was over-leveling mine, and I never had an issue with it disobeying me or anything like that. It was really weird. I think it was only with this game, but don't quote me on it. Second try, but we're not going to count the mulligan. At least he's not trying to pull this. I'm too old and feeble like Professor Oak. <laughs> I obtained the Pokeball. But yes, I have introduced myself to my future father-in-law. I have um, talked it over. I'm not interested in this kid, though, unfortunately. I'm uh, the gay Pokemon trainer. I'm, you know, I'm the cute one. But yes, I have introduced myself to him. You freaking who cares? These running shoes will put a zip in your step. Goodbye, Sweat Lodge of City, or town, or whatever the hell you are. I am getting the hell out of Dodge. Goodbye and piss off. Let's go catch some shit. Time to go catch some shit. Well, let me phrase that. Time to go catch and train. And I know a couple that I want to get right off the bat. Come on, come on, while I'm young. Some of them that hang out easier up here than down there. Like this one, for example. You're only at level two. 
Oh. Yeah, my attack's gonna OTK your ass. God damn it, Jill's too powerful. <laughs> He's gonna OTK their ass. They're that low of a level. Don't get me wrong, I want a zigzagoon. I'm just wanna find one that's a little better of a level. Because these are pure normal types and they do not You know, alright, screw, I'm just gonna take you. Join the party! Don't you dare break out of that ball. Got ya. I like the little click animation they added in with um, Fire Red and Leaf Green's remake. It's a lot better. And the next one to be named is... There we go. So. Because I have a friend named Robin. And she's more of a night owl. Zigzag Goon's supposed to be a raccoon that's usually out at night. You just tell me it has the pickup ability. Yes! Oh, cool, it does! That might come in handy! Alright. I know there's... I think there's like a wingle around here sometimes, but... There we go! That's what Mommy wanted, right there. Don't kill it. Damn it! I said, don't kill it. Don't kill it. What do you do? You kill it. Why? A critical hit and I raise its attack up for one move. Great. Stupid ledges. Bingo, wingo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, female wanted that. Please get caught. Please get caught. Please get caught. Please, please, please. No! I hate that because I only have a few Pokemon. Try one more time. I only have a few Pokeballs, actually, but... Damn it. And of course, I was going to take out Robin, so... And there goes some of my money, actually. Nine hundred Poke Dollars. Both my Pokemon are back to full health. Do I get something from that? Nope. Figures. Alright, I need to go get some Pokeballs because I have none. Which now they're in stock. If I remember right, they're like two hundred a pop. Yeah. God damn it, they are. I can get four and that's it. See, a new wingle hangs out up there sometimes. I remember that from when I played this the first time around, but now I can't get my hands on a damn one. And down goes Poochiana. That's great. I need one that's like level four to try to survive.
I already have a zigzag goon, so I don't need to get another one because it'll evolve in the Linoon on its own then. Okay, I hate to be this kind of a person, but I really do want a male Poochiana, and I will explain why when I finally get my hands on one. Mostly because I have the perfect name for it, because I know exactly who I want to nickname it. But also because that one does have a little stronger of attack. Just barely. Holy shit. That one survived by like a sliver. Wow. Uh oh, Wingle. Okay, it's a guy Wingle this time. All right. I don't really want. All right, let's try it. Come on, join my team. You son of a! You make me waste all my Pokeballs on you. Gotcha! Great, I only have to waste three Pokeballs to catch a Wingle. Okay, let's see. This is a male Wingle. Both in the Pelipper. I know exactly who to nickname this thing. They're my friend and co-worker. Let's see this water gun. That is going to make the first gym a lot easier <laughs> to handle. I really want a male Poochiana more so than a female one, so I will literally diverse this to find one if I have to. Come on. Where are you? It's bad enough I'm going to be looking for a Ralts, and that is going to annoy me. Now we're using my special ability. Or my special, anyway. And because my HP is low, it should actually be triggering Blaze, which is really good. Bingo! Now, I just need you to survive! Yes! Welcome to the party! This usually we cut real easily. Don't you dare. Don't you f***ing dare. Gotcha! You're mine now. Because I'm going to nickname you after my buddy from tech school. That was why I wanted a male one. I think it's so weird how they run. But yeah, I actually played this game so much that the this part on my actual Game Boy Advance, the right D-pad, actually wore out. Like You really had to slam down hard to get it to move. Okay, what do we got? Nope, oh, Robin got something. What'd you get? Ooh, a full restore! 
Thank you, Robin. All right, so I have Jill, Robin, Andy, and Sean so far. Oh, by the way, I didn't show this when I went up to battle Brendan, but if you try going this way at the start, this jackass here will stop you. Thinking that he's found some rare footprints, because you're not supposed to go this way yet until you beat Brendan. Okay, there's sometimes some circuits around here. Also a good place to get a little training in. But I just don't know if I want to surf it or not. Hmm. See, I'm kind of hesitant on catching a Wurmple because it evolves in two different ways. And I really, really don't want to get a Cascoon when I'm hoping for a Beautifly. Okay, so I need female name. Yeah, I got one. Okay, there we go. So that means I have one more Pokemon that I can catch yet. Oh, that's actually a good ability. But I'm definitely going to have to level up some of you guys then so that I can definitely do some more battling. So that's going to be fun to do. Well, speaking of battling. You know what? Not a bad idea. Who wants to be leveled up first? I go. How about Sean? Because this little bastard's a mandatory trainer. You have to battle him. You cannot avoid him. At all. Ever. Little prick. Downside is, this is what you call switch training, which we have to do until we get the experience share, which will definitely help. But at least this will help gain some experience for everybody. Yeah, cough up your allowance there, bastard. Let's go. Cough up your allowance. Let's get it over with. Come on, cough it up. And your tackle does nothing. I just think that's so cool, though, that I caught a wingle with water gun. But I really do hate that they have all of the names are in capitals. Unless you purposely set it up to not, that is annoying as shit to me. Well, technically our eyes didn't meet. I clicked on you because I need some experience. Okay, he's got a Wurmple. I got a Puchiana. You know what? Let me at least try getting hit in. 
Okay, I might actually be able to do this a little bit. Hold on. As I say, because all it's going to know is tackle and string shot. And all that's going to do is just lower my speed. And it'll take it down X amount of steps, but it's not exactly going to take me out. No, I think I'll keep Sean in on this one, see if I can get him to evolve, or see if I can get him up another level. It can only go down six stages, and it was already put down at least three, so there's only one more left now. You go, you learned how. Hey up, let's go. Thank you very much for playing. Give me your allowance game. Ooh, low tad. Ooh, low tad. Okay. I use Pokeball. Who could caught ya? I did. Okay, need another name. Need another name. Um, okay. Downside is I could see somebody getting really, some of my friends are getting pissed off me about this, but. I was trying to avoid her, but <laughs> little sneaky bitch. Yep, nope, not up against that. I'll just burn you. I'm just going to keep zigzag, keep jilling so that I do not have to change it out again. There we go. All right, welcome to Petalburg City. The first thing I'm going to do is go heal up my little friends. Why, I don't know, but I'm going to. Next, because my Pokemon are so low, and this would be a complete and total waste, I'm going to go sell that full restore. 
because that will actually net me some money. Because a full restore actually is better off later game, and I mean like late game, but this early in the game, it's good for money, which we're going to need. Because now I can buy a lot more Pokeballs. Aha! Max it out, baby. Let's just go talk to Dad about getting an additional allowance because um, I just kind of spent all my money on Pokeballs, Dad. I need more. Alright, so I have 10 Pokeballs to try to catch more Pokemon. Now, there is one that I want to catch. Unfortunately, you need to interact with dear old dad. And if you try to leave, that little prick over there is going to stop you. So let's go talk with dear old dad. I really don't want to. It's not that difficult of a man to get here. Yeah, fun fact, Little Prick's gonna catch it on his first shot. It pisses me off. But in order for this particular Pokemon to be available, you need to actually do this. Because it's code locked until this event. Well, at least it's not a shiny. That always pisses me off when I see videos that somebody puts up and goes, Oh yeah, I caught a shiny Ralts. Or, Wally caught a shiny Ralts, and it's never shiny again. Like, the one rare shiny you get, like the one X amount of chance, goes for this event. And it's completely wasted. I cannot believe this little prick's gonna catch it on his first shot either. It's fucking scripted and it sucks! <laughs> you know what the downside is that? I don't even think it registers in your Pokedex that it's there. You actually have to find it your goddamn self. Now, in case you're wondering, Wally is the special needs kid of this Pokemon generation. He's the one that you have to hold his hand when crossing the street. And no, I'm not trying to be, like, insensitive. I, I have actually had classmates like that. But that's what his character was supposed to be in this game. Yeah, because my Pokemon will whip your Pokemon's butt. Alright, let's go catch a Ralts. Okay, I went too far down. Let's go catch a Ralts. No frick can catch one, so can I. Of course, I want a particular one. Well, I don't really need a low tag, but... I don't mind battling it. <laughs> he just took my attack back out to what it was. <laughs> you little prick. Yeah, Astonish does 1 HP of damage, so I'm not exactly worried. Yeah, growl away. I'm just going to keep whacking you. He 
And look, I grew to level six. Yes, I'm looking for a Ralts, and yes, I'm looking for a particular Ralts. Don't worry, it will make sense. Trust me. Trust me, it will make sense. But I will admit, getting that full restore from pickup is really good for early games. That helped me get a lot of Pokeballs that I'm going to need. There's a fun thing if you ever want to play this game. Definitely try to get your hands on a few um, pickup Pokemon early on. Alright. Now, I know it's in this patch of grass. I just have to really look for it. But at the same time, I figure I'm going to get these guys a little higher up in the levels. Okay, Wurmple's down. Sean's exhausted a bit more, so I'm going to swap him out. Let's put, oh, let's put Andy in, see what Andy can do. But yes, I am looking for Ralts. I want a particular Ralts. Because it's not completely random the names I'm picking for certain Pokemon. Come on, where are you? I know you're out here somewhere. Now, water gun probably won't do a lot to this because it is part water. Yeah, so that's not going to do shit. So I'm going to have to swap out for a different one because water gun's the only attacking move I have. Sean's too weak. Go with Robin. Because Sean is far too weak to handle that. And Astonish won't work on a normal type because it's a ghost move. It's actually really cool to know that. Now again, the only downside with this game is you also have to remember that in this generation yet, all the TMs are single use. Which really does suck, because if you want a decent TM, you have to really figure out who you want to use it on. Come on, Ralts, where are you? No, the downside is that Ralts is extremely rare to get in this already. It's got a very low chance to find, and I'm looking for a particular. I'm looking for a female one. Okay, I'm gonna swap you out. I'm just gonna throw Jill in because I have got no patience to train right now. None. Where are you? And I can just one hit everything with Jill. Well, all right. Almost one hit everything. You got to be kidding me. All right. Well, if I used Ember, I probably would have one hit. Okay. Come on. I 
I really hate. I really hate that I'm looking for this one. Come on, where are you? Where are you, Ralts? I want one too. I want a Ralts too, and I'm really annoyed that there was only one so far, and that um. The Make a Wish kid got it, basically. Okay, there's Sir Skit. I was debating if I wanted to get Sir Skit or not. And I just knocked it out. But that's where you can find source kits around here. They're a rare, um, like, I think a one in four chance of getting. Or like a 5% shot. The fun thing is, what I'm doing is I'm just lightly tapping on the D-pad. This works out really good, especially later on for the Safari Zone. Because it allows you to effectively just, you know, search around without wasting your steps. And I had to learn that the hard way after wasting a large amount of money trying to catch a Pikachu. A single Pikachu! All right, come on, Waltz. I want one of you. Damn it, Wormpole! There's gonna be a wake of bodies in my. There's gonna be a trail of bodies in my wake, and I'm not even joking on this. There's gonna be a trail of bodies in my wake. The likes of which you have never seen. Come on, Walt. Where are you? Oh, God. Not another Wormpole! Go away! At some point I'm going to end up having to heal up completely, but... God damn it. I really want... I really want a uh, Walt, and I can't catch one, because one doesn't want to show up! Well, Jill just nailed level 12, so she's four away now from evolving, which is not good. Well, okay, it is good because I will kind of need um, Combuskin for the first gym, but still, I want a Ralts. Where are you? Yeah, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run from that one because I really, really do not want to battle another Zigzagoon. <clears throat> oh, for the love of God! Speaking of which, yep, they get something. Gimme. Oh, you! You beautiful, beautiful Pokemon! Now I see why a lot of Pokemon um, speedrunners have you as HM mules. God damn it, you're beautiful. This kid's scoring shit. Alright, well I've been doing this for about an hour. I've been starting this one for an hour, so let me end this video. And when we come back, we're going to continue searching for Ralts. Because I am going to find one. Come to hell or high water. I'll be back, guys. Bye.